Good day students, welcome to mathconserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over an example on direct and inverse variation. And we're going to be focusing on an algebraic representation in this installment. The question is as follows. For the function y equals 3x, which is an algebraic um, equation, we're to de determine if this equation is one of a direct variation, inverse variation, or neither. And if it is a direct or an inverse variation, we have to find a constant of variation. Three and four are problem solving questions. Three, we have to find y if x is four. And four, if y is seven, we have to find x. Okay, so let's take a look at the first uh, problem. Number one, the function y equals three x. Is this a direct variation, inverse variation, or neither? Now, just a real quick fact to remember. You want to recall the function form of direct and inverse variation, okay? For direct variation, the function form is y equals kx. And then for inverse variation, the function format is y equals k over x, okay? So basically, we have situations where k is non-zero uh, for both um, formulations. Now the question is, what format does this function y equals 3x match? The direct or inverse variation? We can clearly see that it matches the direct variation. So y equals 3x is a direct variation. In function form, of course, why is that? Because it is of the form, it is of the form y equals kx, okay? All right, problem two says, if it is a direct or inverse variation, um, determine or find a constant of variation, okay? So um, let's take a look at number two. We're dealing with constant of variation and um, in this case, we're looking at the direct variation, okay? So one thing you want to remember is that for uh, a direct variation, for a direct variation, the constant of variation of variation is represented by the letter K, okay? Is K in the equation y equals kx, okay? So think about a line, y equals mx form. So k is basically the slope, okay? Whatever the, co the coefficient of x is, that is k, the constant of variation, all right? So since we have this equation, y equals 3x, what is k? k is the coefficient of x, which is 3, okay? So if I put y equals kx underneath, you can see that uh, k is 3, the coefficient of x, okay? So since y is equal to kx, um, I'm sorry, 3x, k is equal to 3. So what does that mean? That means that the constant of variation for this direct variation, y equals 3x, is uh, k equals 3. Okay? Now the C part is as follows. For the C part, we're told that if x is equal to 4, we're to find y. Okay? All right, so um, when a direct variation is presented in function form, it's very easy to determine um, a variable given another one. All right, so all we just simply do is write down the formula, substitute, and find the missing variable, okay? So let's write the steps down real quick. So steps are as follows. One, you write down the formula. Write down the formula. If it's direct or inverse. Two, substitute. Known. 
it could be more than one variables that you know and and solve okay substitute knowns and solve okay so let's go ahead and do it so for step one we have the formula y is equal to kx okay why did we use this formula well this is a formula in function form for a direct variation okay so step two we're going to make our substitutions all right we know that x equals four what is k the same problem is remember we're still dealing with the function uh, y is equal to 3x okay so if we're looking at y is equal to 3x what is k we already determined it determined it in, in part uh, 2 we determined that k is 3 so k is equal to 3 and what are we to find we're to find y so y is our unknown that we are to find okay so these are the variables we're going to be substituting the values and variables so we'll have y the unknown equals k k is what is k k is um let's write down the formula again so we don't mess up our substitution we know that y is equal to kx so which follows that y is equal to k which is 3 times x which is 4 and then you simply multiply and you have y equals 12 all right so there goes your answer for part number three all right let's take a look at the last question question four in that case you're told that if y is seven find x okay we're going to be using the same formula the same procedure that we use in uh, number three so first thing to do is we're going to write down the formula what is the formula in function form for a direct variation is y equals kx you can write this in variation, you can write this in function form or relation form, you'll still um, get, get the same result, okay? All right, so this is one way of writing a direct variation. There is another way also. Okay, so now we're going to carry out our substitution. We know that y is 7. What is k? k is a constant of proportionality we determined to be 3 earlier on. x is what we're looking for, okay? So we're just simply going to substitute our knowns and solve for our unknown. So let's do that. We have y equals kx. y is 7. 7 equals k is 3 times x. So we have 7 equals 3x. Isolate x by dividing both sides by 3. And then we have our x value equals 7 over 3 whenever y is equal to seven okay so that is that thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation we appreciate it if you found the contents of this tutorial beneficial to you to give us a thumbs up we appreciate the positive feedback if you have any questions about the contents of this tutorial or any problems concerning um inverse or direct variation in general just place your question in the comment section below and we'll be glad to assist you as soon as possible. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other great tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mark.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.